Hey everybody, this is Mike from Skill of Strength. What we're going to go over today is um, some drills and some techniques that you can use to clear up any uh, thoracic extension issues that you may have and some uh, shoulder issues you, you may have. Um, mainly these are going to apply to a lot of the kettlebell exercises that require you to go overhead, um, a la overhead position in the Turkish get-up, presses, clean and jerks, bugging, push press, um, actually with pull-ups and uh, any type of overhead pressing as well. So, first thing that we're going to address is just breathing quickly. Um, if you don't breathe properly, it can actually lead to issues in uh, thoracic spine and shoulder mobility issues. So, first thing we're going to do is just teach you how to breathe quickly. Uh, the first drill I'm going to show you how to do is just crocodile breath. You're going to lay down on your stomach. Arms are going to be down. You're going to place your head down. Stay nice and relaxed. And all we're going to do here is we're going to breathe into your belly. You should actually see your body rise and fall off the ground. Make sure that you breathe into your belly, into your groin, and don't respirate to your shoulders. This is what it should look like. So that's crocodile breath in a nutshell. Again, breathe into the belly. Make sure that you're not shrugging your shoulders and going from there. Next thing we're going to address is some quick basic foam rolling, and then we're going to go into some trigger point work quick. So, a quick, quick foam rolling circuit you can do is uh, first thing, start at the uh, bottom of the thoracic spine, bring your elbows together, get those shoulder blades out of the way, you're going to roll all the way up, don't roll your neck, and then come back, okay? So you're going to do that for about a minute or so. Next thing we're going to do is some thoracic extensions over the foam roller, or you can use uh, a couple tennis balls and a sock to move segmentally. I actually like to do both, and I'll demo those both. So, cross your arms. You're at the bottom of the T-spine. Exhale. Do about five or six of those, and then move segmentally up. Never uh, roll your neck over. You can do the same thing with here. So again, base of the T-spine. and then you move segmentally up. So that's the basic extension drills you can do with either the uh, tennis balls or the foam roller. So next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit our lats. We're actually gonna do some soft tissue on our lats while stretching our lats. So you're gonna be in the side lying position. Okay, hands gonna go behind your head. You're gonna start rolling your lats out back and forth, trying to stay overhead. Now, to get a little bit of a stretch, you can pull in the elbow, get a nice little pull, and then continue to roll out. While doing this, make sure you try to puff your chest out and stay in the overhead position. About 15 or 20 on each side is always good. From there, we're going to actually hit our pecs quickly. Lay down on your stomach, get right in the belly of the crease of the armpit, and roll. You can supinate and pronate your arm, and just get into the, uh, the pecs a little bit. All right, next thing that we're gonna address is some trigger point work to help with the overhead position. So, the main trigger points we're gonna work on are uh, terrace major minor, which is right down here at the crease of the armpit. Um, we're gonna work on your traps in the first rib area. We're gonna work on your rhomboids, which is right inside the shoulder blades. And we're gonna work on the border of the scapula. We're gonna do those as well. Now. Each trigger point, we're going to do specific shoulder drills. So I'm just going to demo them. First drill I'm going to do is uh, right at the trap. First rib area. Okay. So find that position. Okay. First thing we're going to do is some flexion extension drills. So open up. Okay. You've got those. Now we're going to reach out wide and go cross body. Big stretch. Some basic scapular presses. You're going to drive the elbows by the rib cage, reach overhead. By the rib cage, reach overhead. And then you can just punch up, protract, retract. So you're going to follow that and do that on every single position. So again, you're going to hit um, terrace major minor and then do all those patterns. Then you're going to do everything else. Rhomboid, hit all those same patterns. 
um, you name it, hit every single pattern with those. The next one we'll hit is just again with the pack. Really, really easy to do. Get in there. Once you're in there, I like to do some some basic corkscrews. Open everything up. Make sure you keep your breathing normal. Okay. Those are your basic soft tissue drills. Now what we're going to work on is actually extending the thoracic spine. One thing to focus on is when you extend your thoracic spine, it's not just retracting your shoulder blades. They're two very different things. Um, just because you can retract your shoulder blades doesn't mean that you're actually extending your thoracic spine. If you don't believe me, ram your thoracic spine and try to squeeze your shoulder blades together, it won't happen. So, a few drills that you can work on um, for extension are, let me see where I am here. Oh, we're going to go right to the uh, tactical pull-up bar here. Okay, I'm going to be here. I'm going to hang. I'm not actually going to hang, but I'm going to deload myself. Okay, and then I'm going to try to push my chest out and relax. Push my chest out and relax. Push my chest out and relax. Okay, we're addressing the T-spine and the shoulders here. Okay? Make sure you breathe in. Okay, that's the first one. If you want to do some hanging drills, you can do that as well. Stretch out your lats. You change your grip. Do a whole bunch of other ones. So just basically open everything up. Okay, from there, um, one of my other favorite drills to do is on a Swiss ball or a chair. Okay, you're going to be here. A nice tall spine position. Your head is going to go through your arms. Okay, you're going to take a breath in. Push down on the ball. And as you exhale, try to push your chest through. Breathe diaphragmatically. Same thing, about five or ten breaths. Big breath in, push down again, and go from there. And you can repeat those basic drills just to get you used to extending over. Uh, just checking my notes to make sure I didn't hit any other ones. Some other stuff that you can work on are prying drills in the uh, part of the uh, Turkish getup. What does that mean? You're in the getup, okay? All we're working on here is First of all, make sure that both shoulder blades are back and down. The trap should be quiet, okay? And once you're here, you're going to try to extend the chest and come back down. Extend the chest and come back down, all while staying in the overhead position, okay? You can basically make a little mini circuit of these drills. Um, some other stuff you can use are just some anterior posterior glides. That will help. Literally just come in and try to bring your chest. I mean, bring your uh, chest to your finger. Okay, I'm not reaching. Boom, there I am. Okay, and you can work segmentally up. So try to bring it through and keep on working on that. Those are some great drills that you can do. Um, now, one of my favorite drills to work on when just working on the overhead position is to use a tactical bar. Now, this is set fairly low for a reason. Um, I'm going to actually get right into the catch position of the clean and jerk of the kettlebells. So, I'm here. Here's my catch position, okay? I'm here, nice catch. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push up into the bell and squat up, breathe diaphragmatically, and push in and up. And just think about putting my head through the window. So, once you do those, check your overhead position and go from there. After you've done all the soft tissue, breathing, and extension drills, then that's when you go and try the exercises, whether it's um, the get up or press or clean and jerk. But again, work on those and see how they go. Thanks.